Add 10 and more using a 10 frame to count on. Lesson 3.7. This is a 10 frame. A 10 frame can help us add 10 and some more. We fill the 10 frame with 10 counters for the add end 10. Then we put counters for the other add end next to the 10 frame or under it. We start with the counters in the 10 frame as 10. We have 10 plus 3, so we put 10 counters in the 10 frame. And we count on the rest of the counters outside. We have 3 outside, so we say 10, 11, 12, 13. And there are many ways to add numbers. Using a 10 frame is just one of the ways. We can use a 10 frame to add 10 plus 5. Here we have our problem, 10 plus 5, and we have 10 counters in the 10 frame for that 10. Then we have 5 counters below it for that 5. We start with the 10 and count on 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 10 plus 5 is 15. We can add 10 plus 4. We fill our 10 frame with 10 counters and put 4 underneath for that add end. We start counting on from the 10. It's the greater add end. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Here we have 10 plus 2. We have 10 colorful counters in the 10 frame and we have 2 for this add end, 1, 2. We start counting with the greater add end, 10, 11, 12. 10 plus 2 is 12. We can add 10 plus 6. We put 10 counters in the 10 frame for this 10. We put 6 counters underneath it for that 6 add end. We start counting from the 10, which is the greater add end, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We can add 10 plus 1. We have 10 counters in our 10 frame for this 10 add end. We have one more for the 1 add end. We start counting from the 10, 11. We can add 10 plus 8. We've got 10 counters in our 10 frame for the 10 add end, and we've got 8 below it for the 8 add end. We start counting from the 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 10 plus 8 is equal to 18. We can add 10 plus 7. We put 10 counters in the 10 frame for this 10 add end, and we put 7 counters below it for the 7 add end. We start counting from the 10, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 10 plus 7 is 17. We can add 10 plus 9. We put 10 counters in the 10 frame for the 10 add end. We put 9 counters below it for the 9. We start counting from the 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. We can add 10 plus 0. Remember when you add 0 to an add-in, the number stays the same, the add-in stays the same. So the 10 isn't going to change. He's going to stay the same. And you know what? If you look at our 10 frame, we have 10 counters in the 10 frame, and there are 0 below it. So we just have 10. We can add in any order. We can add 10 plus 1. We can count on from the 10. 10, 11. We can even add 10 plus 1 or 1 plus 10 and change the order of the add-ins around. Now the 10 is down here and the 1 is up here. We still choose the greater add-in 10 and count on 1, 11. We can add 10 plus 5. 
We start with the 10 and count on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. We can even put the 5 as the first add-in and the 10 as the second add-in and switch it around. We start with the greater add-in, the 10, and count on. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's still 15, just like 10 plus 5. See? We change the order of the add-ins and the sum stays the same. See? We can add 10 plus 0. When we add 0 to an add-in, the add-in stays the same. So the 10 is going to stay the same. We're not changing it. We're adding 0, none to it. We could also have the 0 on the top and the 10 as the second add-in. It's still 10. It doesn't matter what order we add in. We can add 2 plus 10. We start with the 10 and count on 2. 10, 11, 12. We can change the order of the add-ins. It's still going to be 12. We're adding the same numbers. We can add in any order. 10 plus 4. We start with the 10 and count on 4. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 10 plus 4 is equal to 14. We can change the order of the add-ins and it'll still be 14 because we can add in any order. We can draw dots, a red dot to show 10 and fill in our 10 frame. And we can draw black dots to show the missing add end. Then we can write the missing add end. We need 10 plus some number is going to be 14 dots. So if there's 10 dots here, we need there to be 14 dots. There's 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. How many dots did we have to draw? We had to draw one, two, three, four dots. That means the missing add end is a four. We can draw the red and black dots. We can write the addition sentence and explain our model. Emma eats 10 raisins. She eats three more raisins. How many raisins did she eat? We fill in our 10 frame with 10 dots for the 10 raisins. She eats three more. We need three more dots. One, two, three. So how many raisins did she eat? 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 10 plus three. 10 plus three more is equal to 13 raisins. We can explain our model. These red dots are the 10 red raisins. These three black dots are the three more raisins. We can match the models to the number sentences. Here we've got 10 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 more. And here we have 10 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 more. Which number sentence does this model match? Does it match this one or this one? It's got 10. They both have 10 in the number sentences. But this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that would be this one. 5 is the other add-in. So this one matches this one. This one has 10 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 as the other add-in. So it would be this one. That's the correct number sentence. So they crisscrossed, didn't they? See? Now they match. In our next lesson, we're going to make a 10 to add. That's lesson 3.8. We're going to add numbers like 8 and 6 and 7 and 4. And we're going to fill up our 10 frame and make 10 from the counters to see how many are left over on the outside of the 10 frame to get a sum. I hope you're doing well, and I'll see you next time.
Bye.